What's going on guys and today we're going to be resetting the counter for the light bulbs any of the light bulbs in the car entire car basically frm unit uh, which is football module controls every single light bulb or uh, lights in the car a uh, little brief story before we gonna get in the software which is going to be toolset 32 i wanted to tell you what did i done before that if doing that properly you have to do the software first and hardware the next step i did in reverse i did kind of wrong on the first place i was thinking this is the actual whole setup for the uh, rear uh, trunk light bulb like the microscam after opening the cover in the trunk find out the connector wasn't connected so I connected and from unit uh, we had uh, one light bulb wasn't working so I replaced the light bulb didn't help it then I uh, swapped connectors from left to the right side it did work so whole the system assembly was working properly then I find out the boot from the trunk to the body of the car was uh, cracked and I start uh, checking the wires if any of the wire was damaged or anything I didn't find anything in there um, I didn't trying to do any kind of stuff uh, uh, then I find the wire which is going from the trunk all the way to the football module which is located near the hood latch actually behind the plastic. I removed the that I find the wire model. I did check and the wire was okay. So the last step was the actual FRM unit which is uh, cost roughly 400 bucks plus you have to code it so that wasn't ideal for me it was easier to let it go and that's it but then I just tried to do the software after checking the message and checking some data I find how to reset the counter and that's the video how to do it so let's check it out on the actual app first you have to buy KD can cable then you have to install the apps uh, I already have the video how to install them and how to run them and how to test them so you have to have decent laptop uh, and we connect it we connect it to the car and go into the gonna be the input input is a testing tool which is gonna show us and provide us some information so first what you can see here cable is detected yes and ignition is on by the way I'm running my car for right now also with those apps be really careful because they can do a lot of cost to your car so first what we can choose it's a, a body which is the e90 we're gonna press the f3 then we're gonna choose the FRM unit which is gonna be mine in particular it'll be FRM I believe FRM 3 post 0307 so we choose that one we have a couple messages about some problems with language and stuff like that then we can go to the information information gonna tell us what kind of unit we have frm2 slash frm3r uh, which is frm70 uh, this is important information because we have to do some other stuff later on so remember that write it down frm70 we go to the f10 go back select the e90 select the same uh, body thing and frm unit okay and okay then uh, we want to check for the error memory which is f4 and clear uh clear error memory which is f2 so we're clearing then pressing f1 and we got uh, our code right now basically it's gonna stay forever if you're not gonna reset it or you're not gonna replace the actual frm unit and we see frm 70 uh job state is okay by the way the actual impa program only the scan tool it's not gonna get you to any troubles i mean don't mess a lot with it but still so we can close it up then go to the tool set 32. now it's the things getting kind of tricky but first what are we doing we go to the file and load the sgbd group file sgbd group file is gonna be for frm3 unit it's gonna be frm70 prg And now we got the three in uh, windows open job info so we're not gonna need that you then table info which is we're gonna need it so we're gonna have to find that code here and the actual job stuff and our results so that window gonna be showing us if the job was successful or not so first we go to the uh, our table and we're looking for the lamps uh, there was supposed to be a lamp and our text 339 apparently the numbers can be different one in different types of cars from that step we're gonna find our lamp uh, which is missing and we're gonna remember uh, which code mine is tail light so the right one apparently it's gonna be either o 12 o x 0 x 12 either 0 x 14 
BL, it's the right side, a cell, something like that. So we now we know the code. So now we want to check which lamp it has the error. We have to go uh, to the job uh, job window. We looking for status lamp and cartridgeless counter. To the status lamp and cartridgeless counter. And now we're looking for Ausgang, uh, actually Ausgang SLBL Regist one, uh, which is code O twelve. SLBL link one, and also we're gonna go to the E seventy SLBL. So we choose two of them and press F five which is we executing the job. We have short circle counter 50. It means we basically reach our errors number, 50 errors on that circle in there, and the FRM unit just stop powering the, the lamp to provide the safety, to not burn your car or wiring and some stuff like that. So what do we need to do? We have to remember that state E70, which is 0x14, the lamp number for that short circle count. As well as you see the job status is okay, means the job was executed fine. We can close that window and now we can start resetting process. We go back to the executing window or job window. So and now we're looking for reset cartridgeless spare counter. So we press that and argument one it's asking us for the light number uh, for fixture which is gonna be 0x14 and now we press uh, F5. It's showing the job status is okay and we basically done everything properly. So from that step, we can close the uh, tool set 32 and go back to the INPA. Hit the F3 button for E90, go to the body, um, go to the FRM unit, go to the error memories and read the error. So we still have the same error, we're going back clear the error memory which is F2 and we press in the read in uh, the read error memory again and boom no errors found so apparently uh, we fix the problem we stop the engine pop up the key going back starting the car and we waiting for messages so and job was successful if you guys like the video please put the thumbs up button there subscribe my channel and leave me comment below Thank you.